Hey, it's Jeff, Kilo 3, Juliet, Romeo, Zulu. Today is Monday, September 11th, 2023. Came across some interesting news earlier today that uh, last week there was an attempted carjacking at Bellevue State Park. If you don't know, Bellevue State Park in Wilmington, Delaware, Kilo 1731. It's located in North Delaware. And it lies between Interstate 95 and Interstate 495. So there are a few articles that came out. Uh, one actually says teen arrested for attempted carjacking at Bellevue State Park. While the Delaware.gov Delaware News website just says a teenager arrested for attempted carjacking. It actually does go into it and uh, here's what it says. A Delaware Natural Resources Police investigation has led to the arrest of a 16-year-old male of Wilmington, Delaware on a charge of attempted carjacking at Bellevue State Park. The Delaware Natural Resources Police are basically the park rangers for the state of Delaware and they handle all stuff that a park ranger would handle, including some police responsibilities. So on September 7th, Thursday, 2023, at approximately 3.30 p.m., that is Eastern Daylight Time, officers responded to the main parking lot of Bellevue State Park following 911 calls reporting an attempted carjacking. When officers arrived, they learned that the 67-year-old victim of Wilmington, Delaware, was approached by a teenage male. Uh, again, it does not say if this person was doing parks on the air or what they were doing in the park, but they were just in the park. The suspect pointed a handgun at the victim and demanded the keys to their vehicle, at which time the victim complied and dropped the keys. The suspect entered the vehicle, but quickly fled on foot after the victim began yelling for help. Officers from Delaware Natural Resource Police, Delaware State Police, and Newcastle County Police searched the area but were unable to locate the suspect. During the investigation, the suspect was found to have been captured on security cameras in the area. These images assisted officers in positively identifying the suspect. An arrest warrant was issued for the suspect with the following crimes. Robbery first degree, which is a Class B felony in Delaware. Possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, which is also a Class B felony. Possess, purchase, or own or control a firearm destructive weapon if previously convicted of a violent felony, which is a Class C felony, and aggravated menacing, which is a Class E felony. You are more than welcome to look up all these different class felonies on Google. It will definitely take you to the one of Delaware's websites that provides that information. So the next day on Friday, September 8th, the suspect was located and taken into custody by Wilmington police officers, which is the city of Wilmington police. Following a traffic stop, the suspect was arraigned at Justice of the Peace Court 11 and committed to Ferris Juvenile Detention Center on a $100,000 cash bond. So uh, there you have it, folks. So nowhere, wherever you go, is going to be 100% safe 100% of the time. And it's bad to think that it can never happen here or it can never happen to me, that you'll never be a victim of a crime or be in an accident or have something bad happen to you or someone you know. But there's just a few basic things that everyone can do to not become a victim. You need to be smart. Definitely you need to keep your head on a swivel. Always looking around, no matter what you're doing or where you are. Having situational awareness is very important. Always be looking at the people. Because you never know, someone could be trying to sneak up on you. So if you keep your head rotating around, people are less likely to sneak up on you. And actually, if you look at people, it will deter them from coming towards you sometimes or even acting on what they had planned to act on. And you always need to be prepared for anything. Anything can happen. A crime, a medical emergency, an accident, anything. Take self-defense classes, learn self-defense, and protect yourself by any legal means that you can. Even if it includes having a hammer in your car. Well, you're going to use a hammer maybe to pound in some stakes at a park to get your antenna in the air to guy it down. 
or it might even include carrying a pocket knife maybe or even for some people that do wish to go a little bit further is getting a concealed carry permit and carrying a firearm now I always recommend that you do everything legally within your state and the jurisdictions of where you visit so keep that in mind I am not telling you to do anything I'm not giving you any legal advice always do everything within the letter of the law be safe be smart and don't be stupid going back to this article it does not say if the victim was doing uh, parks on the air or not I have not heard anything from any of the local hams or any of the local amateur radio groups stating that they knew who, of, the, of who the victim was or if, or if the victim was even a ham radio operator. So we could just probably assume that he probably wasn't as it's not mentioned, although that is a detail that they probably left out as it was not consequential to the, to the crime itself. He was just happened to be in the park. So uh, I just want to make sure that everyone's aware to always be on the lookout and be safe. No matter where you go, if you're camping in the middle of the wilderness, you never know what can happen. You got an escaped convict come up, do crazy stuff, a wild animal, anything. Wherever you go, the mall, the state park, federal park, wherever, always be smart. Always keep your head on a swivel, always watching what's around you and what's going on. As a uh, park activator, I just want to make sure that everyone was aware that things do happen in places that we do go to on a regular basis so always be smart be safe and have lots of fun so please be safe have fun when you're out doing a parks on the air activation or anywhere you go so if you like this video and the information i provided please give this video a thumbs up click the subscribe button click the notification bell to learn when new videos will be released and please leave a comment down below tell me what you thought of this video and the information I provided and any situations that you might have been in or know of that are similar to this situation or anything that might have happened to you. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Put on 73.